Thanks for joining me today, I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'll demonstrate the improved brush selector in Corel Painter 2020. By default, a new stroke preview mode shows more information about the appearance and characteristics of each brush in Corel Painter 2020. In this view you can see the shape or type of the brush tab, you can see a stroke preview, and you can see the brush variant name. This view can be customized to show more or less information. I can right click and go to the variant display menu, and here I can change this from stroke preview to list or dab preview. Let's try list. That removes the stroke. Or we can go to dab preview and we see just the dab. The stroke previews themselves have also been improved for a cleaner look and feel. Light blenders now show orange for the first half of the stroke. Heavy blenders show orange for most of the stroke. And the visual clutter has been reduced to make it easier to see the strokes. You'll also notice that dab previews have been updated to better represent the brushes. In some cases, a dab preview is replaced by an icon, like in the case of particle brushes. These icons represent the characteristics of each type of particle brush. In addition to this brush selector, you can also go to the window menu and look under brush selector, compact. This pops out the new compact brush selector, and this panel has been optimized to take up less space. If we go to window, brush selector, and we open the full view panel, then you can see that that's much larger. So rather than having all the categories here, you have them condensed down into this menu, but it gets even better. Let's go ahead and move the full view brush selector over, and we can actually drag this compact brush selector, and we can make it stretch horizontally like this. You can have your brushes go all the way across, and you could of course move this down to the bottom of your screen or put it wherever you like. Just as well, you could take the palette and you can move it down to expand it vertically as well. And if this is too much information for you, you can right click on the panel, and then you can hide the brush library selector if you don't need that. You can right click or command click again, and you could turn off the brush promotions. And you could even go to variant display, and you could just show a list like this. Or you could show just a dab preview, and now you have a very small, very low profile brush selector. And as you can see, you can have the compact brush selector be completely different from the full view brush selector so you could actually have both on screen if you wanted to. Another improvement to brush selection is that you can right click or command click on Mac in any of these brush selectors, and it will now give you access to a lot of useful brush selection controls. So there you go, that's a demonstration of the wonderful new things you can do to customize your brush selection experience in Corel Painter 2020. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out some of my other demonstrations of Painter 2020's top features.